Time to get up out your sleep. I'm trying to tell you, get away from them freaks and let's get to this money. What up, what up, what up, DMV? Wake up. Good morning, good morning. It's your boy, Big Sushi, alongside Russ Beasy. Take it easy. You hey. already know we try and get this money. Man, welcome to the Yo DMV Wake Up Big Business Podcast. This is one of our first episodes, so we just wanted to thank y'all for one. Just for tuning in. And two, we wanted to give y'all a little insight on what we got going on. Russ B, talk to him. Man, I just want y'all to know, first of all, good morning. I want y'all y'all people to know that y'all great and y'all got this. You understand what I'm saying? We here to wake up and motivate you and understand that we got this. We Regardless of what we going through, our struggles or whatever, we here. We promoting all black businesses, small businesses, not just black businesses, because I don't want people to think we want no racist stuff or nothing like that, but we're definitely promoting all small businesses that's bringing something to the culture, that's trying to educate our people. If you got something to give, we here for you. In addition to that, we bringing a lot of insight to the streets as far as everything people ain't willing to talk about. That's right. We bringing nothing but the real. So I hope y'all saddled in. Get ready, because we ready to go ahead and jump in. So our first couple topics, man. First off, the weather this morning was crazy. Come on, big suits. That um, snow. How much snow you get? Man, well, you know what? Behind my house, I got a, at least a good six inches. But I tell you what, on the streets, they made it seem like it was nothing. Man, you was out there diving in snow and stuff, man. <laughs> Go ahead, man. I seen you on a book. Yeah, this snow talking you know, about is my bed cover with snow. I said, you know, I had to go serious. out there with the kids, He's man. Serious with the well, no short with the shorts on. Well, you were going like that back in the day. Back in the day, we had the snow challenge. Yeah. Remember back in the I day? I don't know about the snow challenge. We don't dive in the snow with the snow <laughs> challenge in they drawers. Yep, <laughs> look, they had the snow challenge. People was diving in the snow in they yeah, drawers. They yeah. was diving into the pools. They was doing everything, right? Mm-hmm. They ain't know about how we did it, so I had to show them one time, That's you know? That's what's up, bro. That's yeah, what's man. up, family, man. Family first, man. Family That's over everything, man. you know? That's beautiful. Big shout out to all the fathers out there that man. made sure they Come took on. their kids Come out on, in man. the snow. Make Hopefully sure y'all they did. T- man, make sure y'all take care of y'all kids, man. All y'all fathers, mm-hmm. man, running away, not trying to stick there and be there, man. Listen, man, man up, man. Them kids need y'all, man. Each and every day. fathers, man. This is real. Like I said, man, I wasn't clowning my man about the snow. It was more like, man, that's what fathers do. That's what you're supposed to be on. That's what you it is, to. man. These you kids need us, man. And they got to understand that we there for them. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? We don't got to put more pressure on them. We got to take pressure off of them. Exactly. So I'm exactly. proud of you, Susan. I appreciate that. Don't think I was sending no oh, shots. Oh, for sure. Home. Come on, now. I no, just want you to that, know, bro. man, you jumped in the snow with your This is the Big on. Business Podcast. Listen, so we listen, get man. Nothing but, nothing but down to the nitty gritty. Listen, I you know just want you to understand this. You jumped in the snow with your drawers on, with your kids. I ain't jumping in no snow with my drawers on, with my kids. But I love them. And but they you know, know I got them. But you know what? I had to do it because how many times do it snow in March? Man, that's deep. You're that's right. one. That's Two. That's County. You jumping in the snow with the kids, that's something they're going to remember forever. You know what I'm saying? Real lot. So I just wanted to give them, you know, a little mental picture, something to remember the snow, something to take COVID off the table, bring some good memories to their mind as opposed to all the stuff they've been seeing throughout all of this. Throughout the scene, we've been seeing these last couple months, if not the whole year for real, you well, know? Nah, shout out to the women, too, taking care of theirs. Not just the men. The men need to step up. The women, too, need to step up. And that ain't stepping up, shout out to the woman that is standing, stepping up when the man ain't there. Shout out to the men that, that's stepping up when the woman ain't there. You understand what I'm Already. saying? Already. understand we ain't doing nothing. We just want to big up you. You understand what I'm saying? We're mm-hmm. proud of you. And I hope the other half comes to the table. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? 
See, most people don't realize, but they be lucky. There's a lot of people out here that's on their own doing it by themselves. Shout out to the stepdaddies, too. You know what I'm saying? Shout oh, out to the stepdaddies, For sure, too. for sure. Shout out to the stepdaddies. Hey, I'm a stepdaddy myself. Shout out to them. I definitely got to say shout out to the stepdaddies. Y'all, y'all, y'all the hottest workers. It ain't y'all easy. Y'all the hottest workers. But you know, you got to work hard to be stepdaddy of the year. Y'all, if not, nah, you we know. ain't doing it for no awards, though, Big Sue. Right, we ain't doing we ain't it for no awards. For no awards but you want to make sure you aiming high, you know? Yeah, no question. You definitely want to make sure you aiming high. Y'all got the hottest jobs, man. Shout out to the stepdaddies, man. Big Sue, you already know, man. Shout out to the stepdaddies. Y'all got the hottest jobs. But you know, I mean, Stepdaddy's got it hard, but I gotta give it to the single parents out there because okay. see the first time I ever seen a single parent, I remember I was working in Lake Forest Mall, actually at the Lids. Yeah. And a young cat that I actually know, we won't name him, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But he uh he had came out to me, you know, he had just had this baby and I could tell he was in shock. Yeah. He had the baby wrapped, swaddled, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. My man needed diapers, wipes. You know what I'm saying? The whole nine yards. Right, he, right. He ain't, and he ain't had no clue. Shorty yeah. literally dropped the baby on him and bounced. Yeah, like, and ain't just bounce for the day. Like, bounce, period. Dang. And, yeah, he was distraught. So, not only was I able to step in, but stepping in made me realize how hard it was going to be for him moving forward. Right, you know no what I'm saying? No question. Now, you fast forward, you know, um, I can definitely see my man doing it big. I think, if I'm not mistaken, he is chef and has his own restaurant. That's what's up. You know? But it was a long journey, so yeah. just looking from the outside in, I can definitely say it's harder for you know the uh, the individual parents as yeah. opposed to you yeah. know it's the, the people hard. with help. It's yeah. definitely yeah. hard. It's definitely hard being a single parent, regardless. Yeah. One loses, draw, especially if you ain't got that other half of support. You understand what I'm saying? Like you really need that other half of support. Not saying you need it because you don't need it, but Regardless, the kid yeah, you needs definitely it. Don't, the you know? kid needs it. You understand what the kid what? needs? The kid it. Needs but it. Equal balance. But equal balance. You know what I'm saying? Growing up in a home where you know, black. Be growing up in a black home actually. Like Moses is just separated. Your father go here. Your parents live here. Regardless if what he's doing is his job, it's just a messed up situation. You understand? Nine Absolutely. times out of ten, the father is not there. You understand what I'm saying? And and going by that, the father needs to be there. And with the kid not having a father, he missing something. Or not having a mother, he's missing something. So regardless, some, some you know, it's just it's just kind of messed up. You know what I'm saying? And and I have a stepfather to step in and become a man or a stepmother and and play the role is one of the toughest toughest parts because they know they're not their parents. See, you understand well, what I'm that's, saying? You know, that's a funny topic to bring up because I would definitely say most men can relate. But how about the women? Yeah. You never hear the woman's perspective. Yeah, that's deep. And I would really love to hear coming a woman's perspective a on that. Coming as a stepmom. Because, you know, coming yeah. in as a stepmom, you know, what do y'all deal with? I right. mean, are, are the kids saying, you ain't my mommy? Or they, they, yeah, they're yeah. giving you a hard time because yeah. you're trying to fill them shoes? Yeah. Stepdads know how it is. Stepdads already yeah, know how it know. is. They got to go know? through hell. They got to go through war. Earth, wind, and you know fire. You got to worry about what the next friend is telling you in the air. Yeah. You got to worry about what, your, what, the, what the mom is. the mom ready to go to bat for you? The whole is she nine ready yards. To, is she ready to, to beat you up for her kids? That and, and more. And when you're trying to tell her the right thing. That and more. You know what I'm saying? So, but, I mean, but the with the female, mom. With the mom. The mom though, that's stuff? a good question, Sush. I, I really, I mean, I'm, I'm baffled right now. Yeah, that's I'm really great, sitting here thinking about it. That's I'm a like, good question. I've never really heard too many female perspectives. Most of the time, if I do hear it, it's something along the lines of, like, either they cool with it or they, they don't, don't want even deal care. With it at they all. don't even or they don't even care or they don't care. They just right. let it go. But I mean, eh. and the man don't never say nothing because like, I came in, a, I came out of one of those. You understand what I'm saying? I'm gonna be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I know my stepmom. You understand what I'm saying? But. It was different. It wasn't like, like I said, how I, how it wasn't how it came. You understand what I'm saying? Like it wasn't like I gave her hell. You understand what right. I'm saying? It was like I knew who she was. I respected her. Mm. You See, understand what I'm saying? For me, my my recollection of my stepmom is actually funny. I actually love. I actually love you her. You respect she, her. She was you respect cool. Her. I respect her. You never her. had no problem because she never really uh, gave you no. My, my mom never. My stepmom she ain't never. never really she ain't gave never gave me no problem. Me no problem. My yeah. only issue with her is. I used to earl whenever she made me food. And I, and I honestly don't even think that it was because the food was bad. I honestly think it because my mom would have me, like, juiced up on the way up there just thinking the wrong you. thing. Brain Brainwash. Brainwash. Like, yo, the food going to be Brainwash. poisoned. Yeah. I eat something and be like, yeah. Ah, ah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just off the rip. Yeah. But she was always good to me. And, you know, to be honest, 
the last time I seen my father, the meal she did, she uh she prepared for me was actually the first meal she ever made me that I never or that I didn't you yeah. know throw up. Yeah. So I can definitely agree with what I'm saying right now because just thinking back and then looking forward as a man now I can I can definitely say that you know it's it's a, a different perspective seeing it as a grown man as yeah, it is versus yeah. a child definitely, you know definitely. but um as far as the, the perspective of of a female I I would wonder what she would say cuz I would hope I didn't give her a hard time yeah, you know cuz my stepmom I felt like she she never Wanted no problems, and I never wanted to give her no problems at the respect of my father. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But with my step dad, with my father and my it, I gave him hell. Well, see, I gave him hell. It's it, it's interesting hearing your perspective. I gave him hell because you you got to remember I'm from an African home. Right, right. African homes is totally different. I'm talking about you do right. something bad, they be like shame. The whole yeah. room screams right, right. shame. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? I'm with you. I'm with you. you know you get whoop well, everybody on your head. Not yeah. it's not just mama. You know yeah, what I'm saying? With you. Um, yeah, I I can definitely say that it, it's 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 different and an interesting topic. Look looking at it from the outside in now. Being an adult, because you know, I mean, even for my stepfather, uh, I can say I was kind of hard on him. You yeah. know, I didn't give him the opportunities that he might have, you know, really needed to connect. Yeah, I definitely didn't give my you stepfather know? the opportunities. I, like I said, I had my father in my ear. My mother was never really in my ear about my stepmother because she wanted to do the same respect. You understand what mm -hmm. I'm saying? She knew what a woman was. You understand what I'm saying? My stepmother was a boss. Yeah. She she took me shopping. Uh, she made sure she took time to like pull me to the side, yeah. talk to me. She uh, told me great things about my dad. Yeah. Always made me respect who my dad is, not who people, t you know, what people uh, make him out to yeah, be no or question. anything like no that, question. you know? No she helped me not only capture the essence of my father, but see what the essence that a woman truly sees when they see a man. So for me, I, I don't have any bad, you know, any bad memories of my stepmother or anything like that. Uh, Stepfather, I feel like his his perspective was different. You know, he was somebody born in Africa, raised there. Yeah. So to come here, he had his whole perspective of life and how it's supposed to go as a man. Right. And being an American kid from an African descent, you know, it's like... If you go against anything that they know, you 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 the bad guy, right. you know. Right, right. And um, it's a journey being a African American. I'm with you. you know what I mean? I'm with you. So to speak, coming from an African home because they're coming from years of culture that like built a a, a a way for them to get here. Let's just say. Yeah. And um, anything that goes against what they truly know and have lived by kind of goes against their grain and feel, makes them feel like you're straying away from the plan. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So to be an adult now, I can I can definitely say, you know, not only I gave my stepfather a hard time, but, you know, who knows? Had I had given him the opportunity to connect, maybe things would be totally different. Right, but, right, right. Um, but from my perspective as a stepfather now, I can I can definitely say it's easier for me to connect with children because... I ultimately learned from what he messed up on. Right, right, right. right he wasn't right. able to connect with me because he didn't see me. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right, in my right. essence and aspects, right, right, you know, right. my growth, what I'm into, what I'm not into, my likes, my hobbies. When you connect and engage with a teenager, a youth, a, a child, yeah. you know, um, you're building something and right. you're, you know, you're starting a journey, but ultimately how much you pay attention and how much you put into that is what you get out of it. Right. You know, and, um, from my perspective, I can definitely say that it's not as hard as it looks, you right, know? Right, right. Um, as a kid, it might seem different, you know? Right. It might seem like, like, am I the worst, you right. know? Or, you know, is, is life harder than what it may seem? Right. But when you become an adult and you see it for yourself and it's your turn to play them roles, it's, it's a whole different ballgame, you know? So I'm from, I'm a African-American that's from America. <laughs> I'm so, an African American. So, that's from America. Africa. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, my, 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 my. Yo, my, you know I got an African name, right? Yeah, yeah. My African name's Kofi. Okay. Kofi I Daku. seen that. I seen that. Kofi Daku. I Kofi, seen that. Yeah, I seen people that. People can see it. I didn't know who you were. Anyway. Who, is, who is Kofi Daku? So, so that's, my, my. That's my grandfather and my grandmother's last name. Yeah. So my, my, my perception. And the day I was born. Sorry, is different, Friday. my guy. It's different because we're from a home. Where our peoples always break up. Mm -hmm. 
You understand what I'm saying? And my stepmother, as my stepmom, she played her role as in she knew she didn't want no problems and I didn't want no problems. My dad, he didn't want any problems. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So it was more like, but my dad had my stepfather, he got the hell. Would you agree that back in the day, we had more of a realistic, stable sense of home? Not saying I have more stable home because our black homes are never going to be stable. I mean, you but as far as as far as family, family culture. No, as I'm telling, what I'm telling, holidays. what I'm telling you is, we always going to have that. As in, I'm telling you is as as in a step parent. Mm -hmm. We're talking step parents right now. We're talking about my my stepmother. She didn't I mean, get no hell from us. I'm, I'm talking as far as. With a step parent in home, yeah. Do you feel you still had somewhat of the home culture, the home vibe? It the wasn't, family sitting at the table, if not we every night. No, we never did that for we holidays. Never, we never, not my step parent, not my. So Thanksgiving, y'all wasn't at the table. My grandmama, grandmama house, you was at the table. My grandmama, not my, not 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 my step parents, not my not my. I wasn't going to my dad's house for Thanksgiving. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? I wasn't doing that. I wasn't going to my. I was going to my grandma's house for Thanksgiving. My, Oops, my, yeah. my, my grandma. Who don't? <laughs> my gra I'm talking about my grandma's house that was raised. That was that. That was my mother's grandmother. My mother's mother. You understand what I'm saying? So it mm -hmm. wasn't. I wasn't. My dad didn't play a significant. The, the role as in like uh, like I said I'm from America I'm about to say I'm you're African. lucky I'm, I'm my, my African. grandmother my grandmother over two thousand miles away I ain't seen my grandmother since I was ten years old yeah that's crazy well I'm saying yeah. I wouldn't do I wouldn't twenty five no, years twenty I, yeah twenty six years God. I wouldn't be nowhere without my grandma mm, twenty five years I wouldn't be nowhere without her without mm. her I wouldn't be nowhere so what I'm telling you is is this I gave my that's I gave change. I gave my stepdaddy more hell then I gave my stepmama because I, I, I had more. I, I had I had more respect for my my father. You understand in the land that he put down. You understand what I'm saying? Then I should have had more respect for my mother because my stepdad he was teaching me nothing but good. I was I was I was disturbing something where a man was trying to put me on point and trying to recognize me as a man, and my father. We're trying to destroy that. You don't never destroy that. When you see a good man, you see a good man. Mm -hmm. A good man is a good man. A man respect a man. Always. You understand what I'm saying? So I, if you my son's stepfather and you a man, I got to respect you. I can't disrespect you. I can't tell him to disrespect you. That's how the game's supposed to go. But you understand you know, what? I can't do that. In today's culture, in today's I can't culture, do that. that's hard to find. I can't you know do that. that, bro. I can't, I can't have that game. I can't have my son disrespect a man. I can have him disrespect the coward. Always. I you understand? If he's a coward, that. he's a coward. Call me over and we going to handle that. Mm -hmm. But see, my stepfather wasn't a coward. He was a man. Trying to put me in position to be a man. And that matters. So what I'm telling you is as now, when I look at it as a man, I done been a lot of stepdaddies. You understand? I done helped a lot of women that I dealt with in my life that came along. And I went through hell. Mm. You understand? I went through hell because I understand coming into a situation where a woman understands this is all I have. These kids ain't never going to turn their back on me, but a man will. Most people don't understand that. You know what I'm saying? It's different. It, it, and you know they say it takes one to know one? Yeah. It's like you got to go through it as a man to be able to understand the yeah, statement you, you just made. You, know? you got to. And, that, and that's one I can really, I can definitely tell you that I, not only I can relate, but there's going to be lots of people who can relate to that. You know what I'm saying? Now, with that being said, that's one of our first topics, you know, we jumping into. We'll be right back. We're going to go to a commercial break. When we come back, we got more hot exclusive topics for y'all, all right? That's right. Let's get it. Good morning. Wake up. Wake up. Big business. Let's go. No necesitas crédito. En Bobby Furniture tenemos variedad de muebles a los mejores precios. Camas, sofás y lindas mesas de comedor. Así como lo oyes, no necesitas crédito. 
Babis Furniture, siéntate como en casa. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and we back, we yes, back, yes, 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 we, we back with the show, man, now that we back, I wanted to go ahead and jump into another topic, how y'all feel about these gas prices, man, they hot as man, hey yo, these gas Sheesh. prices are at a legitimate all time high, I say legitimate because we legitimately all voted for Biden, well, y'all did, I voted for Trump, <laughs> call, me, call me a black Republican, what? I saw what Jay-Z did, Y'all niggas was tripping. What did you oh, see? Oh, I said the N-bomb. Y'all was tripping. Everyone should have. Hold on, hold on. You voted Trump for saw. Trump? You I voted, voted for Trump, bro. Oh, we got to figure it but out. But his why. We got to figure I it out. I was listening when he was talking. He said, yo, if y'all vote for Biden, y'all going to be paying seven, eight, nine, ten dollars a barrel. You might as well be overseas. He said that? Yeah. I don't really watch bro, the news, I mean, bro. I'm not even, I so I'm not even quoting it word community. for word. But he said, if we vote for Biden, Biden going to have us paying damn near $10 a gallon. And it's happening right now. I didn't believe that. And look, the reason why I feel like he knew it, yeah. he was good with all the people who's doing something right now. Look Ooh, at Trump. how, yeah, Trump. Look at yeah. how, look at how Putin doing everything he got to do to get all his issues out the way. Yeah. I got nothing to do with that. I don't know nothing about it. Yeah. But I tell you what, Trump made sure that his relationship was good with him because he already saw it coming. Yeah. And he wanted to be on the. I, I, from my perspective, I feel like he wanted to be on the good side of the fence. Yeah. You know, had we would have went Trump, everybody got what they had to say about him. But when he was giving six hundred dollars a week to everybody on unemployment, niggas was out here buying them sixty dollar eighth. So I don't want him. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. Chicks that was getting forty dollars from their man was getting sixty. They was getting Ooh. eighty, getting the whole hundo, ah. hundo, the whole blue face. Ah. So I mean. There's some there's some pros and cons to that. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, some yeah. pros and cons. Yeah, I hate But um let's make no mistake of it. Trump did have uh his ups and downs with him. I do not really support anything that I saw as far as what I saw at the Capitol riots. Right, right. You know, they was wilding. You ain't never seen no black folks go up to the Capitol or to the White House and try any of that because we would have been shot down. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No but we saw what they did, we saw how they rocked. They out here right now on the highways and some more some more stuff doing what they feel they got to do to get their point across. Right. All I know is the prices is high. I can't deal with them. Yeah, how do y'all feel about yeah, them? Yeah, I'm Russ, how you feel? I'm with you on that, bro. I don't know too much about Trump. I don't know too much about none of that. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I just know I got to pick and choose which way I got to move because my well, gases are so high. We, we know this you much. Know what I'm Trump, Trump, Trump got hotels. Yeah. Trump got a TV show. Talks Trump on. been on The Simpsons. Like, Trump got a whole lot of stuff going on. He uh, makes sure his face known. He done been on WWE. He, he on everything. Yeah. Right? When we talk Biden, when we talk even... Angela, what's the name? Angela Harris. Yeah, let's not talk but, that though. Let's I mean, not talk that because you get too deep into politics. You I'm not. I, I don't want to jump you too deep. About but Trump. you not talked about Trump. I ain't when really we talk, a fan of Trump. when we talking about you know prices saying? and who vote for who and yeah. why, yeah. I got, I have, I, I got a clear answer. You got, you got to. But you know? what I'm telling you, when you get into politics, we getting real deep into things that, like I say, you can say Trump. He he did see that, but I can't support Trump because he. I can support Trump because he was an entertainer. You understand what I'm saying? And he entertaining my people. But at the same time, he he still he still really didn't do too much for my people. You understand? I'm not a Republican. I'm a Democrat. I wouldn't. You I would. I wouldn't necessarily say that I fully supported Trump. I more so supported what he was speaking on. Speaking I, what? I, I saw. He talked I, about our I people. Saw, he I talked about our people. He talked about. Building a building a wall so the amigo so my my our people. Oh, and get of over. course, and of course, those those are things that I didn't support. Yeah. But when it came to particular topics that were as an serious, entertainer, as an entertainer, you know, he entertains you. I, not not necessarily entertain me when it came to specific topics that were like, all right, nah, whether I like yo or not, that's facts. He was speaking facts. Yeah. And as far as the you know Biden and Harris, I can't I, I couldn't deal with with Biden because Biden. 
with somebody who Shout spoke. Shout out Harris, black he, woman. He, Shout out her, strong black woman. Biden with somebody Harris, who spoke Harris, who Harris. spoke on on black people as far as us being monkeys when we were, you know. I don't with, know about Biden. He I, don't, was, I ain't he was in really Congress. In, listen, I seen the video. I ain't really into that politics. I seen the video. I ain't really into that. That ain't got nothing then, to do. They're not helping my people. I'm talking about me as far as why I voted. I'm with you. Why why I didn't vote for Harris? I didn't vote for Harris because I saw how she systematically jail the whole rack of black folks Talk for a whole them. bunch of small crimes that out here are decriminalized now. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. even back when they weren't, people weren't getting that severe charges, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and severe uh, penalties, yeah. you know? And she was basically slamming her own people. So I, I couldn't really support that. You so know? You, do you voted Republican? I voted Republican. And mind you, there was two different opportunities. The first time I voted for Jesus Christ in Nazareth and took a picture of it. Okay. Because they give you a line where you can vote for whoever you want. And I voted for whoever I want because I couldn't choose. Yeah. So let me let my people know I voted Democrat. So I ain't never going to vote Republican. Did you know that back, back in the day, the Democrats was Republicans and the Republicans was Democrats? First of all, I know that that wasn't even for our people. Ain't nothing. I ain't going to vote for real, for real, if I ain't have to, but I still got, if I'm going to say something, I'm going to vote. You understand what I'm saying? One thing about people that don't vote, if you you can't say nothing if you don't vote. But sec- you voted, so you have the right to secondly, say anybody you voted for. But secondly, if you're going to vote, educate yourself. That's cool. Because you, you want to make sure that you understand what you're voting for and what side of the fence you stand for. Because I ain't educating myself. Why. I'm a Democrat. You know? I ain't educating nothing. But, I'm but, a Democrat. But, I'm broke. But if someone asked you why are you a Democrat, yeah. what are your answers? Because I'm broke and he for me. I'm thinking he for me. Because guess what? That's not for me. That's See. not what my people was raised on. We were raised as kings and queens. So I'm not even on that. But if they say, if you want to say something about it, you got to vote. Voting Democrat and Republican, again, to me is a clear, wide spectrum of why everybody yeah, should know what, what we vote in. I ain't into politics, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. From I the ain't de- into that. All, all, I'm happy because Barack Republicans, became president. All the Republicans I've never met, they their biggest thing is having their freedom. Yeah. You know, having exactly. their freedom. Republicans. That's, yeah, the, that's but, the rich getting rich but, and the poor getting poor. Uh, that's, let's say you don't. Let's say you don't own a condo, yeah. or you don't own a house, yeah. or you don't own your own car. Yeah. You don't have assets. Or own your own business. Or, or your own, own business. That's not the black people. That that's, that's where not, you won't be not, able to see the benefits of a Republican. That's not our people because guess what? Guess what? It's not our people because they didn't educate our people to do that. Uh, not necessarily. That's not where we from. We have we have plenty of black businesses and black business owners that are well educated and right. know. Know what they want, where they stand. Only a couple. Ha- Only, you know. Guess what? That have I wouldn't been necessarily awoken. say that a couple. Been, not, that not, have been awoken. Let's not stomp that, on our own black that's people. Not stump, I'm not stomping on them. They have, have been awoken. But guess what? If we were all awoken and understand that we, 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 we can achieve and we, if you believe and in, in invest in your worth, guess what? We will have a whole bunch of them. But guess what? They don't educate us and show us how to own businesses. They don't show us how to go get an LLC. They don't say they got loans. They don't that's say they got reason, grants for you. That's more reason to go out there and get so it. So I can't go but with what, the Republicans. But, but I can't what, go with whether, the Republicans. Whether, whether you're going out there to get it on your own or you're looking for it or you know, you're waiting for it to drop in your lap, whatever the case may be. I'm never waiting be. for it to drop in not, your not, lap. Not, who, not who, you, who, but who, whomever. Yeah. What, for, for, for anyone who's out there trying to get it to the next phase, when you do get it to the next phase, the thing is... How do your you options get, change. You, you know how they say more you, money, more problems? Let me ask you a question. How do you get into the next phase if you don't be educated? You got to take the time to educate yourself. It's, it's not, not about... Is it, how, how can you say if nobody around... Guess what? You can educate yourself, but guess what? Somebody knows something that ain't telling you something. You you talking to a man who done been through it. Come on. I done had to search for my own knowledge. Come on. Having my own first business. I had Come my on. own first business at 19. Come on. You know, I was in the mall. People know me for not only doing my thing in the mall. The people know me before that when I was throwing parties as a teen. Club Illusions. Okay. They knew me from Club Climax. I was the one who threw the 3-6 Mafia backyard party. And the Mario party. And, the, man, I, all my parties been been known. I threw the Studebaker's party where... Uh, we had the Montgomery County first high school riot where they was throwing tear gas at us because I invited a little Scrappy out with uh, DJ Alize. Shout out DJ Alize. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? DJ Alize. You're you're definitely 100 percent right. They they don't educate us, you know, and we do have to go out there and search for the knowledge. But I will be one to attest that if you go out there and search for it, it's there for you to find, and if you apply it, 
it can be life changing. It can change not only your life, but your perspective. Right. Like my perspective on something as simple as gas price, something as simple as that made me look at stuff different because although we had an entertainer in the box telling us what was going on, when he spoke on that topic, it spoke in volumes because I felt that. I was like, yo, I remember when gas was $1.79 when I first started driving. Shout out to Milton, my first car uh, uh, dealer. Oh, that's what's up. My Jamaican who gave me my first milk, car. Big milk, big milk. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, when you, when, you, when you think back to when we had it sweet, why? Why did we have it sweet? It was never sweet. Who? Remember that. I mean, in ways it Remember was. That. Remember that. Because they overseas, you, overseas it probably wasn't. But for, me, for me us, it, it was. Let me, it's never was sweet for us, my guy. Remember that. I don't know. I understand like what you're saying, what you think, but it's never sweet. Gas prices ain't nothing because most of black people really don't have cars. I mean... You understand what I'm telling that's you? That's a whole nother so topic. What I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just trying to break it down to you like is it life being sweet for my people. Our people. Our you people. understand what I'm saying? Our people. Not my people because we the same color. You understand? Our people. It ain't never been sweet for us. You understand what I'm saying? So we had to go through trials and day. Gas prices going to go up because guess what? Because we don't control gas prices. But guess what? If we learn how to control gas prices and go own a gas station and go own a gas station, Cha -ching. then we talking about some money. We now we controlling gas thing. prices. Now we, now we controlling gas prices. We were never taught to own nothing. We were taught to go work. We were taught to go work for the man. Go up, be the best slave you can be. And that's more this perspective that I'm even speaking on. For those who go and search for the knowledge, you come to the to the realization that there's more to it than meets the eye. There's more to it than we've been robbed. And, once you be woke, once yeah, you get awoken. Once you're, once you're, once and guess you're awake, what? Guess what? They hide up. they hide a lot of things from us because you know what they say. I don't know. I learned this in prison. He said the easiest way to hide something from a black man is in a book. When it's you think about book. that, it puts the pressure on the black man to read. Yeah. No, one, no one can put a gun in. A head. lot of, a lot of people, a lot of us wasn't taught to read, my guy. How can you? How can, a lot of us wasn't taught to read. That's that's part of slavery, not to know how to do. I stuff can't speak like on that. everybody, but I was put in public system. Yeah. Whether yeah. I was in New York, yeah. shout out New York public system, yeah. all the way down to Montgomery County. Uh, but I had an uncle that couldn't Rosemary read. Hills. I had an uncle that couldn't read at mm -hmm. fifty. Back in the day, and, I, and, and guess what? You know, Every and everybody and everybody around, and I said because he didn't want to read because he just knew how to survive. You know what I'm saying? So when we go to politics, it's just politics is something I really don't touch because it's not for us. Learning in the system and growing up in the system and being in prison is just something that you fight over. If you're a Republican, you're a Republican. If you're a Democrat, you're a Democrat. You understand what I'm saying? Whatever you rep is what you rep. I can't hey. reject what you re rep. You For sure. Shout out to everybody who votes. Make yeah. sure you go out there and, and vote. And if you vote, you don't know when they got something to say. That's it. If you don't vote, Make sure be you quiet. cast your vote each and every time. And be quiet. You don't got nothing to say. That is the realest shit I ever heard. If you ain't vote, don't say shit. You make sure you put your vote out there. Everybody mm -hmm. go out there and vote. If you ain't putting your voice out there to be heard, you wasting your time. And they letting felons vote. You just letting, you letting everything happen right to you. And they letting felons vote. <laughs> and they letting felons vote. I don't know if it counts, but they letting us vote. So then you can speak. Mm. All right. We'll be back, y'all. Big Business Podcast. We Let's out. get it. We out. KDP Studios. Check out Studio B. Featuring photography, live production, entertainment, Waves Mercury Bundle available in both Studio A and Studio B, Solid State Mixing, Same Day Mastering, Studio A features podcasting, recording, Book directly using the book now button below. Guests enjoy gaming and television while recording. Over a thousand original beats to choose from. Follow the Yo DMV. KDP Studios. 18943 Bonanza Way, Gaithersburg, Maryland. 
646-262-0879. Book your session now. Yo, yo, yo. Wake up, wake up. We back. Wake up on your feet. Welcome back to the show, man. Now that we back, speaking of politics, man, shout out President Obama. Obama, I hope you get better. I hope you get better. We heard you contracted coronavirus. I hope you get better. Man, I hope it ain't even so, keep but that it's mask so, and it's on. so, man. Keep that mask on. Get better. On. Keep that mask on. Keep that mask Stay on. Stay away from the coronavirus. Keep that mask on. Man, eat, eat nothing but home-cooked food. Chew some ginger. Bro, get better. We need you. We need you. Come back. <laughs> Don't you wish we could revote for Obama? I wish I could. Man, I wish we could. I wish I could. Man, what? That'd be super lit. Shout out to Barack Obama and his whole family. Michelle Man, Obama. What? The daughters. Michelle need to run. <laughs> Shout out to all y'all. All of y'all. Yeah, all right, y'all. So tell me, what do y'all think about the NBA young boy and Gucci Man and Lil Durk B? That shit need to stop, bro. What y'all think about that? What do they you think about to, that, Russ? They need to stop, man. Y'all boys got these people, these young boys looking up to y'all, man. Well, look, first and foremost, I seen Gucci on a live talking yeah. about, nigga, stop. Well, he said, stop playing with me. You already know what's up with me. Shout out, Gucci. And then he just straight up, you know what I'm saying? He let like it be known. Boss. We ain't even going to go into all of that. But he let it be known how he would carry it. Shout out Gucci for keeping it like a boss. You, you know what I'm saying? Static. Shout out Gucci you kept it for definitely keeping it he 1,000. He don't want no smoke. He didn't want any smoke. You kept it low. You kept it low key. But and what, what did it for me was Gucci man solidifying he a boss by dropping publicity stuff. Yeah, yeah. Drop a bomb. <laughs> I want to hey, yo. I respect y'all. Shaw, man, Shaw, I respect him. And you did it like a boss. It's like he a did boss it like a do. boss. You let it be gone. You know what I'm saying? You say what you say and you left it alone. That's what people do. That's what men do. You check that shit and you leave that shit alone. You understand? And that's what Slim did. Well. Slim did. But for Dirk and young boy, NBA young boy, I want y'all to understand. Y'all got these young boys listening to y'all, man. They believe in y'all. They understand y'all. They feel y'all struggle. It's a lot of publicity you know stuff going on. And it's a lot of stuff, I man. agree. And we need well, to Gucci. stop that, man. We need to stop that. Y'all see, man, people just keep dying. You know what I'm saying? On a sidebar, speaking of Gucci. Talk to me. I used to love the fact that when Gucci would go in, he'd go in straight off the top of the dome. Man. And the freestyles would be so fire off the Zay beats. Respect, man. You know what I'm Respect. saying? The Respect. No Pad, No Pencil CD was one of the CDs that made me a Gucci fan. And when I first met Gucci, I got a chance to rock out with Gucci on stage you with Backyard. That's all right, yeah, man. I was That's on stage. Right, with Gucci. Yo, shout out my man Everett from One City Entertainment. He got the footage. I wouldn't be shocked if he pulled out the footage one day and showed it to me. That's what's up, Sam. But yeah, this is back when Gucci had the gut, when Waka Flocka had the little dreads and the yeah. little bird, brick yeah. squad chain. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they performed uh they performed photo shoot. They performed um what's it called? Uh, Wasted. Yeah. They they performed the whole rack of songs. Yeah. But that Gucci that I'm speaking on, yeah. that's the Gucci that Gucci done reverted back to and is ready to nah, he ain't take off. That, he ain't revert back to that Gucci. Oh, man. You don't think boss. so? He reverted back to I the listened boss. to the song. And, uh, hey, he just Gucci let, been a boss. He's still a boss. He just let him know that, nigga, I'll check you. You know what I'm saying? As a, as a G should. And as he did, he don't want no smoke. I'm chilling. I'm living my life. I'm in Gucci loafers. I'm in a gum and Louie. I'm chilling. <laughs> Shout out Gucci, man. Shout out. And I respect Gucci because he put his hood on. Them people respect you, man. You put Shout the team on. Six. They follow you, man. Y'all I done broke through Zone 6 and the pictures out All there. them boys. They zone really respect you, man. That's what bosses do. You take your team with you. Mm -hmm. And I respect Shawty and how he handled that situation. NBA young boy, man. I love you, Snap. You need to chill out with that. Whatever you want. One. Go ahead. You need to chill out, bro. That one, shit needs to be dead. Thing, Lord one, Dirk, man, leave that shit alone, man. Y'all niggas getting money, man. One thing that I'll say, as far as NBA young boy go, when I was locked up, not even Shorty in the got pen, a wave. not even in the bookings, I'm talking about when I was locked up, like in the prison. Shorty got a wave. JCI. Shorty 100. I'm talking about everybody talking he about 100. young boy. Young, look, I remember this one time. My was, son put me I was on a young child. boy. I was at child in lunch. And I seen three dudes arguing so hard off an of NBA young boy. Two of them got up and start squabbling. Man, I'm talking listen. about 
they banged out. Shorty got a whole and, fan and base. They and the security let them bang out till they was got deep. Got a whole fan and base. And then they dropped the bombs on us. Respect, man. You feel me? Respect. So to see it, to see a young man bang that hard for NBA young boy music, let me know that he got an influence. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And That's my got, personal opinion. And he got to understand his influence. The biggest thing is understanding that these people watch you. You got a platform. You understand? Yeah. You're in a position to win, and you can show these young boys you can do it, just like you did it. He now, put hard work now, in, and he put grind in. Now, for me, being a being a dude in there. Seeing that, hearing that, and then, you know, seeing what it bring to the table as far as, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good conversations, the bad ones, and then the ones where it turned ugly, people be hitting each other with the phones. Like, all of it. It just make you realize how the music is deeper than rap, and at the end of the day, always been deeper the, than rap. the messages that's it being always. put out there need to really be clear because... If you ain't living what you rapping, you need to stop it for one. It and two, if you step into people who bigger than your rank, you need to know where, what territory you stepping yeah. in. And That's don't, and don't, and don't be looking for no crying yeah. uh, response where That's everybody boss. got remorse for you because we not going to hit. That's boss. You know, and he ain't crying. And that's as a boss. NBA no, ain't, young boy ain't crying. He not crying. Don't he not get crying. it mixed up. But he ain't crying. But I'm just keeping it a thousand. He went you for know, what he went for. You and know, like shot I know, back. Shorty it, shot back. You that's know, it. like I know, if Gucci alone responded, and mind you, he stepped the. He Boosie was supposed too. to respond. I'm not even gonna speak on Boosie because I know how Boosie rocks. He was but, supposed to respond. Who stepped the boozy? Boozy kept it clean. Boozy kept it clean. He was, kept it clean. But he, but come on now. He said, "I'm fucked you up know with like, you. You I messed up with you. Come on, bro. I'm you, messed up with you. You know, like I know. I messed up. You That's know, how like, bosses carry. I know. I messed up with you. But you know, like I know. I messed up is that with it? you. Is that it? It is it. I'm a boss. I messed up with you. I'm, That's I'm messed it. up. That's it. Because the only way it's not it if you take it anywhere else. Nah, I'm talking about you, as far as credibility. It ain't no, you know you ain't the same person man, in my talking. eyes no more. You, regard, it ain't about that. He never been the same person in his eyes because guess what? Boozy a man. Of course. He on man time. Shorty's trying to figure out where he's trying to go. Definitely. He's trying but to figure as out a young man, to disrespecting the OG, Listen, come on. It happens every day. I it disrespect happens. a lot of OGs. Of course. I disrespect but a lot of OGs. Think you, about that's the how sanctions. you get your stripes. That's of how course. you, but you gotta stand on what you believe in. Of course, you gotta stand definitely. on what you believe Most in. Definitely. And Shorty stands Shout on out everybody and stand on what and they believe in. Shorty stands on what he believes in. He Shorty do. stands on what he believes but in. But where, where is, where does the line draw? It's no line for him. Where does the it's line no draw? Line. But let's, but uh, let's talk about not let's not let's not talk about his line. Let's talk about the real line. I'm talking about the real end line. Come on, the real line for real men where the line is drawn. There's no line. He's because, passed it, bro. Listen, Come he, on, bro. He passed it. He passed it. Listen what I'm he's telling you. He passed it. Listen what I'm saying. He passed the line. But guess what? He's standing on what he believes in, and that's the mandatory. I'm not taking no shots at Shorty. Gucci. Shout out NBA young boy I for love standing Shorty, up on what man. he believe in. He stand on what he believe in. But where is where is too far? He don't got none. It ain't no filter for him. Nah, not for him. For you. Let's for just, me. Let's talk. For me. Talk for it, a I ain't going that far. Nah, you. I ain't going that you far. You at his age ain't going now that far. Not my OGs. Nah. He's an OG. You, like, like you Gucci at his said, age. Like Gucci said, that, I thought you was, I thought you felt like you was Gucci man in 2006. Come Gucci on, Gucci felt bro. like he was a boss in 2006. Nah, I'm talking about, that's how he felt. But I'm saying, he wanted to feel like him that. at his age now, where, where do you think he feels? Or, or, Wait, Gucci if, feels? No, nah, sorry. If you were him in that age, in the age he is right now. Yo, you out of my line. Where, I'm going to spit this rap. Where, where would like, you go? Just like he went. How would you feel? Just like he went. You'd go that hard? He didn't go hard. He went light. Going hard is empty in the clip, bro. All right, respect. It's empty in the clip. Respect. Going hard is going light is putting this track out and let everybody fuck with me. And understand but that nigga? I just laid this track out. This is 2022, nah, 2022 not 99, is bro. With, 2022 is with, I give it as far as 2003. People, what I'm pe saying. People was airing clips in 2003, they 99. Think about Biggie, it. Biggie, Pac, Biggie, Pac. They died for this. That's it. But what so, I'm telling you is, what the I'm kids you, now ain't dying for it, yes, but they talking about. They it. are dying for it. If they, they get are. That, if they get that far. They, guess what? They are dying for it. They are losing their life for it. You don't have to get that far. All you got to do is think you're living the game. That's so, it, bro. So that's my question to you. Do you think he's gone that far? Has he gone too far? No, because guess what? Ain't nobody died on his strength. You don't, you don't, you don't think it's going there? No, it can go there. <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to tell you. He needs to chill out. NBA young boy, chill out, bro. Chill out. Do it, Derek. Y'all need to squash it that. It can go there or it can, it can go, go there. there. It, it, it definitely can go there. It can definitely go there. It can go. get there. It's going to get there. 
But who's gonna? Who's the soldier with the stripes? It ain't no stripes. It ain't no stripes because they don't know what stripes is. Gucci don't know what stripes. Nah, is. we ain't talking about him. Gucci's out the way. It's he laid the track. It's he, Gucci. The track is Gucci, finished. Dirk. No, listen. Gucci to listen, let, let it be you're not, known. You're not listening. But, but what you're about not, Dirk and, you're and, not and listen, Boozy? You're not listening. Boozy said, I love you. Boozy said, I love you. He said, bro, I don't know what happened. Boozy said, I love oh, you because he in, said, in, re in reality, in person, he, that's slapped, what it is. he slapped the dog shit No, he him. didn't slap him. No, he wouldn't. I mean, he didn't, but I feel like he would. That's what men do, bro. Bro, that's what men do. When men walk away from something that's you so don't, small. You think getting, that Boozy would let his son... Listen, Talk to him that way. He's not his son, but he's the age of his Boozy son. Boozy is a man, and and a man would never let us a, a man understand. his son's age you're not, you're disrespect not, you're him. You're not understanding. Come on. Disrespect is disrespect. But guess For what? Sure. You're never gonna stop my money. Ever. You can disrespect me. You can dis you can call me a bitch. You can call me a hoe. You can call me a faggot. And that's but, why Boosie ain't dis dropped listen, no diss song. He it ain't, it ain't no diss song. Gucci dropped the diss song because that's how he felt. Yeah. You can't out rap me. Ever. You can't out rap me. Ever. You understand? Know That's where he took it to because he took it to rap. Boozy's going to take it somewhere else. That's why he said, I love you, Slim. I feel that. You understand what I'm saying? I, I definitely, That's why he said, I, I love you. Perspective, I feel That's that. That's why he said, I love you. I don't want to have no problems with you because if I take it somewhere else, and you don't want that. But that's for the cameras, bro. Nah, it ain't for the cameras. Come bro. on, bro. We getting money, bro. Come on, we, this bro. This is big business. This is DMV's uh, big business. We getting money. Boozy's for a the boss. Cam Boozy's a Boozy boss. Boozy is a boss. It ain't no more. Look, we're as, not doing as, that. As a we're boss, not entertaining this shit. As a boss, bro, I respect the fact we're not that Boosie did that. You know why? Because as a like boss, we're not you lose money we're not promoting beef we're not on that level. So Look, for Boosie, Boosie to got say that, that, Boosie don't care that, about that's beef. That's real. Boosie don't care about that's beef. That's real from the perspective of saving money. He know. He know. Anyone who goes on record, anyone who goes on record, who be like, "Yo, I want smoke." That's stupid. It's bad for business. So for Boosie doing what he did, shout out Boosie. Was it bad for NBA YoungBoy because he just made some money off that? Boosie made money off of it too. Yeah, but guess what? At the he end of the day, he gets down. publicity. He shut it down. He shut it down on a, on a level of beef as a where boss. as a boss, as a boss, on a level of beef where it's supposed to be shut down. He shut it down. But realistically, is the beef done? It's done. For him, he gotta worry about he gotta so, worry bro. about the he gotta worry about them Chicago boys. He ain't gotta worry about Boosie. We from Louisiana. And shout that's out, just how I shout out Louisiana. I shout out, and I ain't from Louisiana. I'm just telling you how I would think Boozy would Louisiana think. Louisiana cats get it get I'm down. Just, I'm just telling you how I would think Boozy would think. He gotta worry about them Chicago boys. I think Boozy kept it player from a level of he a boss level, right? and from a level of an OG. Shout out, B. but make no shout mistake out, of it. Shout I respect the OG and the gangster of Boozy, and I feel like if Boozy would ever see Young Boy face to face. They would have a conversation, but if he popped that goofy, that same goofy talk that he talking online and in them raps, Boosie will long arm slap listen, the dog shit out of him. Real, real, real brother to real brother. I let's, honestly let's, think let's, so. You not understand what I'm telling you. Real brother to real brother. NBA young boy probably wouldn't say that to Boosie in his face. Never. And Boosie knows that. I know he wouldn't. And Boosie knows. He couldn't. That. And Boosie. Nah, I'm just telling you. Well, he real could. Brother, Realistically, he, he could. could. Real Freedom brother, of choice. To real brother. Boozy would never allow that to happen. And that would never allow it to happen as a man. Because you already know this shit is for wax. It's all wax. Keep it wax. And y'all ain't going to keep it wax. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the baby still messing with Shawty, still standing on the ten toes and saying that's what he going to do. How do you Shout feel about the baby? How do you feel about Cowboy? Who? Cowboy. I don't know him. That's Vaughn's cousin. I don't know what he talking. Cowboy about. reached out, and and he reached out to the baby, and he wasn't feeling the fact that oh, he, put out, that. Nah, he put Shardy, out that he put out that he put out that whole stand, album. Shawty stand on ten toes. Shout out the baby. He stand on ten toes. He one hundred. You don't never you don't never let nobody pick and choose who you deal with or how you deal with somebody. That's for suckers. You understand what I'm for saying? For sure. Full blooded suckers. You stand understand on. what I'm saying? And you stand on what you stand on. Shorty a man. Shorty on man time. Like I said, I mean, young boy, just shut out, bro. You getting too Cowboys? much money. And I know where you from. And I know you're from the bottom. You, and I know what it is. Cool? And I know what's up. Do but you listen, think it's cool for them to put out records dissing the great young Vaughn? Man, the, late, listen, the late great young listen, Vaughn. I'm man. sorry. The listen, late great young listen, Vaughn. Let that man rest in peace. But let how, that man but rest in peace. The, the whole album promotes. Nah, and listen. Promotes beef. Listen. Let that that man, beef. Let that man rest in peace. Y'all boys get millions, man. Y'all getting millions of dollars, man. 
Y'all getting a lot of money. Biggie and Pac, nobody ever got. Let that shit rest in peace, man. You know, let one... that man rest in peace and y'all feed y'all family, man. We black brothers. Uplift each other, man. And let's get this shit together, man. One thing that I want to uh, really address to the youth is that if you take the time out there to go out there and educate yourself, you'll see that there's so much monetary value to Come all on, of man. this. We kings, we queens. Let's move like, like royalty. To all of it. Let's move like the good, royalty. The good, the bad, the ugly, Let's the move beef, like royalty. the drama. The, you know what I'm saying? The, the, you know what I mean? Every everything that you want people to see and you don't want them to see. Let's move the, like there's legitimate there's legitimacy to all of it. The question is, how far do you want to go? How far down a rabbit hole are you willing to take it? You know what I'm saying? Our kings and queens, man. We black. We power. We power. We uh, we we ain't we ain't nothing to be dealt with. You know what I'm saying? Together we are one. Remember that. Don't forget it. Check in DMV podcast. We live. All right, y'all. We'll be back. Let's get it. Are you ready for your summer body? It's time to work out. Check out Focus Fit Factory, located in Baltimore, Maryland. Get your body right now. Focus Factory is the number one place to get your body right. Are you lifting weights? Are you hitting the gym? Get fit now. Focus Factory, located in Baltimore, Maryland, right in the heart of Baltimore. Get fit now. Focus Fit Factory. The number one place to do your sit-ups, push-ups, and curls. Hosted by Chad Focus. And Power Queen. Get your fitness on now. Start your fitness journey today. Contact at Power Queen on Instagram. Yo, 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 wake up, wake up, DMV, we back. Shout out to each and everybody who checked out the podcast. We out here making sure we give y'all the raw and exclusive. Make sure you check out episode two. We will be back with an exclusive for y'all. So stay tuned, all right? Yo, 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 man, stay focused, man. Stay on your grinds. Keep shining like a diamond because I know you trying, but stop trying and just do it. You already know it's your DMV podcast, and we got it for you. Just stay tuned. Make sure you tune in for the next episode. We here. Get with it. Stay fit. Stay flexing. Stay lexing. Stay, you already know, we flexing. Wake up, DMV. Let's get it. Yaha. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Get your ass up. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Get your ass up. On your feet, it's time to eat. Wake up. Wake up. Good morning. Good morning. It's Russ B and Big Sush. It's Russ B and Big Sush. Get your coffee. I get your split. I get your coffee. I get your split. I get your coffee. I get your split. I get your coffee. I get your split. You are now listening to the Wake Up Yo DMV podcast. Good morning.